Hi folks, uh, here's a short video on controlling Atlanta Center with Euroscope. Um, it's pretty quiet right now. Um, I've got Atlanta A80 and Charlotte approach online, so I've got Atlanta and Charlotte deselected from the departure list because I really don't need to see uh, their flight plans until they hand them to me. Um, so let's take a look, take a look at this uh, Delta 146 here. Uh, he just called me, he came in at 240. Uh, he's going to be on the on the Gandalf 2, which uh, I've got the flight plan showing. I can right-click him, uh, and it sh it'll draw the uh, the arrival and, and the times on there as well, which is uh, really really useful. And you'll notice this yellow circle, which means Euroscope knows. Delta that Center, uh, excuse me, Atlanta Delta One Forty Six requesting uh, descent down to the left tower. Delta 146, December the Gandalf 2 arrival, the Atlanta Altimeter 3001. Uh, you can expect an ILS approach 9 right. Roger, right, expecting 9 right, descending the Gandalf 2 arrival, Delta 146. So he's probably a bit early, but it's quiet, so I, I don't care. And I know that the Gandalf stops at 8000 if you follow the star all the way, so I've set 8000 in his temporary altitude, uh, so the approach controller knows that he's potentially going to get down to that. Um, you can see his current uh, flight level here. Um, there's a few other things. What's this guy want? Uh, I think he thinks he's on Unicom. Oh well. Um, you can set a heading for him. So if we zoom in a little bit, uh, if you click on heading and then drag this line, it gives you turn prediction, which is kind of useful for when you're establishing people on the ILS. It also sets it in the uh, in the heading, which I think appears in the scratch pad in uh, VRC. Click the triple lines to get rid of that. I've already shown you how you can set the altitudes. Um, if you want to clear them for an ILS approach, you would do this, which puts the little T in. Uh, visual approach, choose this, which is the double slash. Uh, I think that only appears to other Euroscope controllers, so don't expect your VRC colleagues to see that. So let's put him back to uh, back to 8000. A um, co couple of other things you can do, as I say, right click on the call sign to get the route prediction. Um, you can right click on the uh, Atlanta on the destination and you get this leader line which you can change that here you can change it to miles three miles however many minutes whatever you I've got it it'll set on three minutes right now um, you also see that it's predicting that the next controller will be a1h so if I want to transfer this tag um, I would click on the call sign it comes up with left click it comes up transfer um, if I did that it would try and hand the tag to a1h or if I know it's someone else I can do a manual transfer and pick someone else also, when I hand them off, you'll see that um, when Atlanta approach accept this tag, then uh, it will show me the frequency that they should go to, which is kind of cool. Um, so this this light grey area is what I'm responsible for. You can see the circle for Atlanta. Um, you see the, the circle for Charlotte. Uh, and let's say one of the other, let's say Indy were online, then this line would light up solid to show me that there's an active handoff point there and again it would predict the frequency that it needs to hand off to. Um, I think pretty much that's all you need to know. Uh, the sector inbound and uh, exit list, Delta 146, I have him so he's in my exit list. The inbound list, it, it tries to predict the uh, the arrivals. So just look at this COPA 425, I can right click him. He's got the Hobbit 2 in his flight plan um, so I can change that to Gandalf. So let's have a look. Yeah, he followed Hobbit 2 incorrectly, so if I change him to uh, 9 right, give him the Gandalf 2, now it draws it properly. Of course, I'll have to remember to tell him that he got the wrong flight plan. Um, but as long as they filed something sensible, it will insert the suggested runway uh, based on our SOPs and it will pick the star, but occasionally you'll see that he gets it wrong because the, fi the pilot filed it wrong. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Any questions, then leave them in the comments below. And I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.